San Francisco. Now to the driverless cars that some San Francisco residents say are making them lose sleep with honking horns all night long as they try to park themselves. Larry, you're back to the store. I'm glad none of us. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're just honking at each other. It's just a bunch of self driving cars in a fucking square <laughs> just all honking at each other. What the fuck? <laughs> This morning, San Francisco residents oh are my fed God. up after being kept up at night by driverless Waymo cars honking at each other through the night <laughs> as they park. <laughs> what the hell? It's fucking 4 a.m. It's, <laughs> it's 4 a.m. More times overnight than I have combined over 20 years. <laughs> it's also particularly shocking to me that they can just be on the road testing when it feels like we don't have a lot of rules for that yet. There were multiple right. incidents of self-driving cars being pulled over by the police and they just like don't really know what to do. Yeah, what the fuck do you do? What do you do if you pull over a self-driving car? Officer gets out of his car to speak to the driver, only to discover... Ain't nobody in it. And then the car speeds away from the officers, passing through an intersection. <laughs> before pulling over again. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Unmanned vehicle that was kind of taken off from me. Um, it's a Waymo car. <laughs> every day you see a Phoenix police officer pulling over a driverless car. Hi. But with all that being Hi. said, my ride was somewhat smooth, and it was coming to an end. But yeah, after a few minutes, I got to the end of the ride, and it was time for me to get out. They don't know what to do because there's no driver to shoot. <laughs> nice one. Bye. Bye, driverless car. It was nice seeing you, I guess. Hope you have a nice day. Videos show vandals kicking them and even tipping them over. Food delivery robots. You may have seen them getting beaten up on the news, driving through an active crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Bro, okay. Cops are crazy. They... They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 guys in this one image. Why are there so many cops? What are these guys doing? What is their job? Stand here? What is their job? Is their job just to stand here? or trying to cross the road on a red light. This is not my video, but I have seen this exact thing happen before. This is so funny. I watched the road on a red light, a car had to screech to a halt and honked at it, which like, I mean, the robot's not gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. If you're unaware, around the time of the pandemic, these little guys started driving around LA. They show up to a restaurant, okay. lock the food in their little box body, and then drive it over to your address. I'm gonna be honest, if I saw one of these on the street, I would fucking steal it, okay? I would fucking, I would fucking steal it. I would grab the whole fucking robot and I would take it home with me. Who's gonna stop me, bro? Who the fuck's gonna stop me? They have cameras? I'll wear a mask. Who's gonna stop me? Yes, but I mainly know these robots from them getting in my way while I'm on a run. This one was recorded just a few days ago while I've been making this video. It they have GPS? And after okay, I won't take them home with me. I'll take them somewhere else. And then I'll steal the food. And then I'll throw them in the river. The colorful folks in Springfield. There's no First way I'm missing this. There's no, there's no I'm way I'm missing this. There's no way I'm missing whatever the fuck this is, bro. <laughs> there's, there's no way I'm missing this. By Adam Sandler trailer one second, comedy. one second. What is Hi this? There, I'm Homer Simpson. Welcome to our crazy little <laughs> Let me introduce you to my family, friends, and some of the other colorful folks in Springfield. First off, there's my lovely wife, Marge. She's the glue that holds this family together with her patience and love. And check out her hair. Isn't it something? Next, we've got my boy, Bart. He's a little troublemaker, always getting into mischief. But deep down, he's got a heart of gold. 
<laughs> this is, fucking sucks. It's so Lisa, peak, bro. Our little genius. Oh, I remember the Twitter discourse because they made Lisa Simpson have makeup, which made makes no sense for her character whatsoever, but it's also like pornifying a like ten year old, which is really weird. But yeah. Like why does Lisa Simpson have but it it just shows some eight year old, sorry. But yeah, it just shows that AI is built off of like the backs of pedophilia. <laughs> She's the smartest one in the family by a mile. Always reading, always thinking, and always trying to make the world a better place. Now, there's Ned Flanders. This isn't a trailer for a movie. It's just disturbing shots of who they'd cast in a the kid having action. makeup is okay, but... Well, I think an eight-year-old having this kind of... Having this makeup is not okay. Also, Lisa Simpson doesn't wear makeup. Like... Lisa Simpson does not wear- Lisa Simpson is a fucking loser nerd who doesn't try to, like, look pretty. Like, that's not- like, that is nothing about her character is trying to, like, look pretty at all. Like, she- you like Lisa? I- Lisa's the best- Lisa is the protagonist character. That's the whole gimmick. Like, the whole gimmick is that the entire, like, family is a bunch of fucking idiots. And a bunch of like psychos and lisa is the only person that like actually knows anything about anything that's like that's the that's like the classic gimmick right isn't there like two episodes where she put on makeup there probably is i wouldn't i mean it's pretty hard to like have a story about like girlhood and not like have makeup at some point or like physical appearance be like a story you tell I mean, The Simpsons been, has been going on for like 24 years. I'm sure at some point, Lisa tackles with like, oh, I'm not as pretty as other girls because that's a thing that girls think about all the time. When she tries to pass 35 years, yeah. Like, she try. Well, I don't fuck, whatever, bro. She's, she's the smartest one in the family by a mile. Oh, always I gotta finish reading, watching this, sorry. Why am I not watching and this? And always trying to make the world a better place. Now, there's Ned Flanders. This isn't a trailer for a movie. It's just disturbing <laughs> shots of who they'd cast in the live action. Yeah, this is kind of mid. The shitty Adam Sandler voice just describes It's, it's kind of mid, I'm going to be He's honest. He's a bit too perfect sometimes, but you got to love him. We've got my buddies from work, Lenny and Carl. We share a lot of laughs at the power plant. And it just keeps going. What movie trailer have you seen that's like, Hi, I'm Iron Man. I'm a pretty <laughs> smart guy. I'm also friends with Captain Have America, I seen disturbing smart? No, I haven't. Strong, I've never heard of it. But not as strong as... The Hulk, the Hulk, who's a big green guy. Hawkeye's here. We don't really know why, but he's got a great app. The team is held together by Black Widow, who for some reason is married to Colin Jost. And I still don't get it. I mean, sure, Colin seems like a nice and funny guy. But really? Those two? For real? Hold on, this was uploaded 13 days ago and has over 2.7 million views? I think these this are guy really got view scary mod. for the CGI industry and the art that goes into that. But this is nowhere close to even making scenes where two people can talk to and react to each other. As I continued browsing, everything I watched, no matter the genre, had one thing in common. Oh, they were God. Deeply, deeply sauceless. Just yeah, why does AI have this, like, why does AI have this, like, thing? I don't know how to describe it, but AI art all looks like it has this, like, it's like it has a film over it. it yeah, it's like glazed. Yeah, maybe that's the best word. It's, it's all, why is all AI glazed? It's so, yeah, the glow. It's so, it, all of they it, not all, all of it, but most of it is like deeply, this. Deeply, deeply sauceless. Is that Bruce Willis? No, that's just... That's just uh, Jim Carrey. Just boring, uninspired, mashed up collections of other things I'd seen before. There was no vision, no- Oh, my favorite thing about, um, my favorite thing about AI videos is how the faces shape, like, change shape every frame. Like, the faces, like, just be like the guy gets a new face like, every frame just boring like it's really funny like they're constantly morphing collections of other things i'd seen before like the there was face no is vision, constantly no morph direction, morphing no it's expression the bird's eyes so we go back the bird's eyes
The bird's eyes. Deeply saw the bird. The mac wait, which? Bossless. <laughs> wait, wait. Just boring. Wait, what the hell? What is going on here? What the fuck? Uninspired, mashed up collections of other things I'd- Look at his hand fade into nothingness. Look at his hand just fade away. Oh. And there it goes. And his hand is gone. <laughs> his hand is just gone. Forever. Other things I'd seen before. There was no vision, no direction, no express- Oh, look at this guy's hands. I think it's so funny that AI can't do hands, by the way. It can't do hands, it can't do teeth, and you can always tell, I come in peace, you can always tell when it's AI art because they can't do hands. You can always tell. No expression involved. Like this one. Genesis, this movie entirely made by AI 4K. In a fleeting heartbeat of time. It's so bad. I can't watch. I'm gonna go make my scene. I can't watch this. Humanity's own creation sparked a nuclear inferno turning our vibrant earth into a solemn testament of our own folly. The world as we knew, it was engulfed in nuclear fire, marking the end of an era. The sole survivor clung to a vision, a blueprint for forging a new future from the ashes of the old. I feel so conflicted about these because yeah, it is crazy to see an AI create these visuals when they didn't do that, you know, like months ago. But as somebody who grew up on and absolutely loves entertainment. You guys know the meme of the guy being like, um, I think it's a SpongeBob meme where someone's like, ooh, I'll have this. And then Squidward is like, wow, daring today, aren't we? And I'll have this. And they go, oh, wow, wow, mmm, right? Like, I'll have thermonuclear warfare, post-apocalyptic world, mmm, very, mmm, daring, very, yes, mmm, very adventurous. I'll have chosen one hero story narrative. Oh, okay, mmm, right, I see. Very creative, very, very creative. Whether it be, you know, games, movies, television. What the fuck is this? If you want to look me in the eyes and tell me that something like this is comparable to Blade Runner 2049, I'll throw my head through a wall. Are you serious? There's not even a scene here. There's not even a character you can follow. There's Everybody nothing. looks different in every shot, and everything we're seeing is just a weird mashup of every sci-fi. You know thing Outer Scroll 6 will be the same? Outer Scroll 6 will not be Don't 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 you fucking dare ever say that ever again. Outer Scroll 6 is going to be Skyrim 2, and it's going to be peak. Okay? Because the reality is. I love Skyrim. I love Skyrim. And all I want is no, we I Rocco, I talked about this on stream before, okay? I actually Friday was supposed to be estrogen day, but I didn't do it, which means I should probably do it today. But anyway, the thing is, I love Skyrim and if, if Elder Scrolls 6 comes out, all I want it to be is like a massive like Skyrim expansion. That is all I want. That's all I want. I don't want them to reinvent the wheel. I don't want them to make something like different. I just want more Skyrim. That's it. I just want more Skyrim. Because Skyrim is amazing. And I just want another take on Skyrim. It rules that they announced it years ago. We know absolutely nothing else. Yeah, it, all we know is it's going to come out. It's not going to be anything like Fallout because Fallout is fucking awful. Please don't make it like Fallout. Please just make Skyrim... Please just make Skyrim. Please, please don't do the, the dialogue the same way they did Fallout 4 dialogue. I don't want to have Fallout 4 dialogue. 
please just do Skyrim, please. Just do the same, the same options of selecting your text option as Skyrim. Please just do Skyrim too. That.